Hey y'all, it's Robert Kennedy the Third, RK3, that's me, and welcome to another video where I tell you stuff to do, and you do it. Actually, no, it, it's not one of those videos. I'm actually about to share something with you that I'm not doing enough of, and I'm starting to do it, but I know that it works, so I'm gonna share it with you. Now, you probably watched a lot of the videos on this channel, and I talk a lot about storytelling. I talk about how you can be confident with public speaking, how you can engage and encourage and connect with your audience even more. As a matter of fact, this video is gonna be really simple. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of editing and like in and outs and yeah, left rights with it. I'm just gonna share with, it, with you what it is that I wanna share this morning. So it's almost like a live stream. But anyway, I'm rambling right now. I don't wanna ramble, I wanna get to the point. Here is the point. One of the challenges that people have is that when they create videos or when they create, when they share their stories, they, they get nervous because they feel like they have to share, come up with a lot of different things in order to stay relevant, stay visible, stay top of mind, stay in front of people. You don't have to, you don't have to. Here is one storytelling, what I call it, is a storytelling visibility technique that you can be using to really help you proliferate or just share your content even more and also do a little bit less so you have a little bit of time to rest, right? You ready for it? Here's the word, repurposing. Repurposing your content. Here's what I've been doing. I have been recording YouTube videos and then when I record the YouTube video, the next step that I take or the next step that I have my team take is to get that video transcribed, turn it into a blog post, right? And I share that blog post on multiple platforms. I share it on my website. I share it on Medium. I share it on LinkedIn, right? And so these are some of the things that I, I, I do or I'm learning to do now where I create one blog post and already, or I create one video on YouTube and already I turned it into four pieces of content, right? One on YouTube and three on other blog posting platforms. Now, after I post the, the, the blogs, then this same YouTube video may be chopped up into little pieces, posted on Instagram, posted on you know Facebook or wherever else. So now I've taken one video and it is now eight or nine different pieces of content. Now, I'm sure that there are a lot of different things that you can be doing. I know there's some people that are taking their content and making infographics and doing all sorts of things with it. And I know there's some people that say you should be able to take one piece of content and turn it into 12, 15, 30 different pieces of content through the magic of repurposing. Truth is, most of us aren't doing it. I know that I haven't been doing it enough, so what I'm gonna do is, yeah, start doing it more. As a matter of fact, with this blog post or with this video, once it's posted in a couple of days, once the, the blog post is, is there, I'm gonna post the link to the blog post in the description below this video so you can also go and get a written version of this, all right? Hopefully that was helpful to you and it's something that you're gonna be using to really share your story in more places so that more people can be changed, more, more people can be transformed by the story and by the, the inspiration that you're sharing as well. All right, that's it. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to smash that little bell. Yeah, I, I say smash. I don't know, I think, I'm, I think I'm feeling like I'm an actual legit YouTuber. So I say smash, smash the like button. Yes, anyway, <laughs> that's all I wanted to share and this is how one of my videos looks straight through without editing. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.